Kan Rimba. Thank you for tuning in for today's session. So today, we're going to tell you a story with the title of A Home in the Park, A Family of Brahmini Kites. A Home in the Park, A Family of Brahmini Kites by Rosalind Chua. Mama Brahmini Kite gazed up at Papa and smiled. Dear, we need to build a nest soon, she said. A nest? asked Papa. Yes, a nest. The time has come for us to build a nest, and this park looks perfect. A nest? Are we going to have a baby? exclaimed Papa excitedly. Yes, dear. And the pair of Brahmini kites went about busily building their nest in preparation for the arrival of their little one. They found an ideal place high up on a cashewina tree. When the nest was ready, Mama was happy to brought there. The beautiful egg was kept warm day and night. Sometimes, Papa and Mama left the egg alone when they went and flew off to look for food. The park was big and hunting for food was not difficult. There were ponds for fish and sometimes they caught a chicken. Old Jungle Crow heard about the latest nest in the park. He often came and perched close to the nest, which brought much anxiety to the parents. He got bolder. He flew closer and closer to the nest. There were frequent loud cries throughout the park as the parents flew after Old Jungle Crow, chasing him away from the nest. Papa and Mama decided that one of them must always stand by the nest to safeguard their egg. One day, their baby arrived. Many of the birds in the park came to watch Junior from afar. Black naped Oriole wanted to offer twigs to make the nest more comfortable, but he was not brave enough to get close to Papa and Mama. Little Oriental Magpie Robin watched her Mama from the ground. She wanted to see Junior. She asked Mama if Junior would be her playmate, but Mama only laughed. Nearby, at the ponds, little heron and white-breasted water hen lifted their heads, hoping to catch sight of Junior. White-throated kingfisher stopped his shrill whistling when he realised what was going on. Mother common flame-backed woodpecker peered out of the hole in the old tree, while father looked up in silence as he held on to the trunk. Spotted dove and zebra dove too watched quietly from their perch. The pink-necked green pigeon seemed enchanted by the presence of Junior. The other smaller birds like common Laura, brown-throated sunbird and coppersmith barbet looked from afar. To them, Junior looked so big. Crested goshawk looked from across the tree where he had his own nest. No one knew what was on his mind as he stared at the new Brahmani kite parents. Baby was growing well with the food Papa or Mama found daily. Mama always warned Papa about the food he brought home. They are going to fill up the pond across the river soon because they want to build a very, very tall building there, said Mama. Be careful of what you find in the pond. I saw many dead fishes floating in the water yesterday. Do you think they have done something to the water in the pond? asked Papa. Yes, because they don't want the pond anymore, said Mama sadly. They are dumping many things into the pond, and finally they will fill it with earth to make a flat land so they can build on it. One day, Papa returned but perched quietly on a branch. He was pale. He felt terribly sick. Then he felt weaker and weaker and turned over on the branch. He clung desperately as he knew that he would plunge straight to the ground should he let go. Mama flew around him, looking on helplessly. Then Papa spoke weakly. I can no longer hold on, dear. Look after Junior. Mama understood and with one swipe of her claw, she swept Papa off the branch and he fell onto the ground. 
Mama flew down and watched as Papa struggled to get up. He stopped after a few minutes and finally closed his eyes. Mama gazed at him one last time and flew off. Unknown to the Brahmani kites, an oriental pike hornbill was observing quietly from a nearby tree. He felt Mama's loss and grief. He recalled how he had fled the forest when there was a great fire. He too had lost a loved one then. He felt lucky that he had found this park and decided to make it his home. A pair of red jungle fowl siblings were also watching from a far corner hidden in the bushes. They recalled how their papa too was taken away from them one day. Men came, threw worms on the ground, and their papa went out of the bushes for the worms. They were terrified when they saw their papa being taken away in a sack, that they fled and never came back to their first home. A pair of zebra doves nesting close by were also silent observers of Mama Kite's loss. They too remembered how they lost one of their little ones. Men had come with a metal cage with twigs and leaves. The little ones heard calls coming from inside the cage. Curious, he went to check out the calls and was trapped instantly. Old Buffy Fish Owl opened his eyes and closed them back. His head dropped to his chest, and he sighed. He had seen everything that happened in the park. It was home to a lot of wildlife, and danger could come from either man or other wildlife. Junior Barmekite was now old enough to get out of the nest. He loved to hop along the branch and flex his wings. He could only play by himself close to the nest. He had learned to fly out and look for food. One day, when he returned, he saw that the nest had been taken over by the crested ghost hawks. One was raiding the nest while the other kept watch nearby. Junior had no choice but to leave. Mama and Junior tried many times to return to the nest, but each time they saw one of the ghost hawks in or next to their nest. Mama decided that it was time for them to seek another tree. The park was big enough. They finally found another tree that they could call their own. So these are all the birds that you saw in the story. This story was inspired by what I had witnessed in Taman Rimba Kiara, in particular the death of a Brahmani kite, which is the theme of the story. Taman Rimba Kiara is currently under threat in view of a proposed building project that is planned on the park site that will inevitably destroy the park habitat, affecting all existing bird life. Merely an area of 25 acres, Taman Rimbakera is amazing in that this urban park has provided to be an essential open green space for local and migratory birds. This story is written in the hope that there will be sustained efforts to recognize and preserve city parks so as to enable both men and wildlife to coexist, ensuring quality of life for both.